Hello friends and welcome back to the channel where we have the Onslaught boss that everybody was kind of dreading for the past couple of weeks. And one of the objectives, a surprise objective this early I think, was to defeat him with Deathless King Groot. And doing so gets you the dupe on the 7 star which is pretty, pretty awesome. So naturally this was the first objective I wanted to finish and here we are. Uh, so a couple of things I want to get out of the way here. Let's talk about the nodes first. There is a node where if you land a critical hit, you increase your combo meter, but you also have the dulled node, if you remember that, uh, from Labyrinth of Legends that reduces your crit rate uh, by half for every buff on you. So uh, basically you're never going to crit in this fight with Deathless King Group because he constantly has a lot of buffs on you and you're getting additional buffs on you whenever you fully dex that special one, as you can see there. Also has a pass the buck, so every time you gain a bar of power, you get a power sting. Now, Deathless King Root will shrug these off if he has available uh, Fury buffs, uh, so not a ton of danger there. Uh, you can also intercept Onslaught, assuming he allows you to, which is one of the problems in this fight. You can intercept him and place the power sting on him. It really doesn't do that much damage, so... You're not going to be routinely intercepting him and getting chunks of damage off of him that way. Uh, also has heavy hitters, so you cannot bait heavy attacks to get your openings. You have to either figure out a champion who can punish his special one uh, like with ease or with consistency, rather. Uh, or you have to bait intercepts with him, which is what I chose to do in this fight. And that's really what makes this fight so lengthy uh, with Deathless King Groot. This is about a 10-minute solo, and probably 3 or 4 minutes, I would say, out of the 10 minutes is spent either baiting a special attack from him or baiting out an intercept. Uh, uncharacteristically passive AI. I worked on this fight for probably 45 minutes or so. Uh, trying to get like one decent AI profile loaded onto Onslaught. Uh, and, you know, it, it still wasn't ideal in this fight, but I made it work. Uh, the uh, other thing, we, we I talked about the energy resistance buffs, but you get those from fully dexing the special one. I put out a video, I think last week or the week before, uh, on how to do the full dex of the special one. Highly recommend you check that out. If you block the special one too much or you take hits from it, you're going to die very quickly uh, in this fight. And as a bonus, any of the neuros that you do get from basic combos on him, they won't be doing as much damage if you nail that full dex uh, because you have that energy resistance buff on you. And then finally, uh, he has a node called Decorative Armor where he starts the fight with an armor up buff. Uh, and then you have to remove it. If you do remove it, it comes back after like five seconds. So uh, he's pretty much going to have the armor for most of the fight here because I can only have access to a maximum of 10 armor breaks. Uh, and they'll all be permanent armor breaks. So once we get that 10th one up, we won't be able to remove his armor. A couple other things in the fight. You uh, Deathless King Groot is really not a good option for Onslaught in general. This is a very difficult objective. Uh, so my strategy here was to basically get the 10 armor break debuffs on him and then try and go for these special 3s with Furies. Uh, normally I would go for a big special 2. You see we have those ignition buffs on us there. Uh, however, if you incinerate Onslaught, you're going to be taking uh, additional Neuroshocks, like one every second or so, and it ends up draining way too much of your health, even with a bunch of those energy resist buffs. So it really felt unsafe for me, given the duration of this fight. So uh, trying to line up like a big special 3 with uh, a bunch of Fury buffs, uh, not not the easiest thing to do. In addition, because I spent so much of the fight like baiting out specials, baiting out intercepts from him, you can see here he's being like super passive. Um, I wasn't given enough opportunities to really attack into him and get more of those passive fury charges. So you're going to see for most of my damage cycle here, I'm going to have like only like three, four, maybe five fury buffs. And I'm expending a bunch of those to remove the power stings, to remove the crush debuff that he places on you. Uh, and I think at one point I do get rid of um, this daunted debuff on me. I think the special three removes that. I can't, I can't exactly remember. So yeah, we are, uh, what are we, we're four minutes in here and he is uh, roughly uh, almost a ha almost halfway down. But you can kind of see the strategy that I'm playing here. The biggest tip that I would give you for getting this fight down with Deathless King Groot uh, is to be patient. Don't take unnecessary risks because the, the AI seems almost predictive in, in, in its precision. And I, I, many times on, on previous attempts... Uh, I would try and just like do a simple light intercept and he would just like stick out his light attack and nail me with it. So, uh, you know, just 
Try your best to bait out intercepts safely. Do not try and bait out intercepts with a medium attack like I just did there. Uh, always try and get him to dash at you and hit him with a light attack. That's going to be your safest bet. Um, obviously, I was very invested in getting the solo. Uh, don't feel like you have to. I was medium boosted in this fight. I think medium champion boost. My attack boost might have worn off actually by this point, uh, but my champion boost had not. Um, so you can expect this to take... Uh, you know, at least this long, probably. And my Deathless King Groot also is rank 3. Uh, not everybody has access to a rank 3 Deathless King Groot, so uh, if you are not into uh, a solo, I would, you know, I would say it's perfectly fine to use revives in this fight. This is a very, very difficult challenge, so... I uh, think that's all I wanted to say. Good luck on this fight. If this video helped you get this objective, please let me know in the comments below. Make sure to share this with your friends, with your alliance mates. And uh, if you manage to complete this objective, please let me know also in the comments below. Uh, I'm super happy to have the dupe on Deathless King Groot now. I'm going to take full advantage of that regen coming up the next couple war seasons, I'm sure. So uh, that's all I wanted to say. As always, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you again next time.